My name is Ethan Yankura. I'm the Curator and Education Director here at the Owl's Head Transportation Museum. And I'm here today with John McComb, former race car driver and New England auto auction consigner of this beautiful 1933 Pierce Arrow. John, thank you for being here with us today Ethan, to talk about this car. It's a pleasure. A 1933 1242 seven passenger sedan. It is one of three left in the world that I know of. And uh, of 157 that were made in 1933. It's a 1242 because it has a 12 cylinder engine and 142 inch wheelbase. We have run the car on turnpikes at, at 65 with no trouble at all. It is a heavy car. It weighs just a few hundred pounds shy of three tons. It has power brakes. Uh, it has free wheeling. It also has hard and soft ride. It has hydraulic valve lifters. It has automatic chokes. It's, it's an amazing car. Now the Pierce Aero Company has an interesting history. They, they started back in the late 1800s. Uh, one of their calling cards was, believe it or not, bird cages. Uh, they went into bicycles, eventually into motorcycles, and I think it was 1901, the, the automobile branch of the, the company was introduced. Pierce Aero won the uh, Gooden Trophy several years in a row in the er, in the aughts, 1906-7, I'm not sure what. And from then on, people knew that Pierce Arrow was the, the sign of quality. And Pierce Arrow was one of the notorious three Ps in American automobiles, or American luxury automobiles, Packard, Peerless, and Pierce Arrow. The American manufacturers, for the most part, would pick a figure at which they thought they could sell their car and then build a car to that figure. Pierce Arrow would, did not do that, and it was their downfall in 1938. They refused to make these cars cheaper, and that's why they went out of business, plus the fact that by 1937, uh, the attitude of the American people had changed against these big cars, and that's why this car survived. Mrs. Motter from St. Joseph, Missouri, sold or traded the car <laughs> for a Chevrolet. And the Chevrolet dealer put this car in his basement garage and that's how she survived the war. And did you find it directly out of the Chevrolet garage? No, or she was then sold to a fellow George and Mary Slankert. And they were from, they were from St. Joseph, Missouri. They toured this car as an original car for 15 years and then sold it to a fellow in Sessler, Illinois who tore it apart, but fortunately he didn't lose any of the pieces. But when we got it, all the pieces were in the back seat. The hood was wired on, the, the upholstery was hanging in tatters, but fortunately there was enough that we could get the original, uh, the original uh, British cloth. A couple of neat features about the car. <clears throat> the uh, hood ornament is called the Archer, and I've met the fellow that uh, that posed for that. He was a, a <laughs> clean up sweeper fellow in the factory at Buffalo. And another neat thing about the uh, car are the original headlights. These headlights lenses are unobtainable now. There are just none left. When was the restoration completed? Well, it was completed in 2000. It took, it took eight years, but a lot of that was accumulating enough money to do the upholstery, which is as original, and this car is painted in Pierce Arrow blue with a black belt line, black fenders, and black surround here on the door. So it, it is as correct as we could get it in that regard. The car has won its first senior and jury trophy from the AACA. It's been invited to the Burns Foundation Concord de Legance. It was best in show in 06 at Rhinebeck, New York. There are many uh, people today and are, think that arguably this car uh, and, th and cars of, the, of 1933 were the best cars made in America at that time. John, thank you again for being here with us, telling us a little bit about this beautiful vehicle. We appreciate your time. Thank you. Pleasure to be here. Once again, this 1933 Pierce Arrow will be featured in the Owl's Head Transportation Museum's August 22nd New England Auto Auction. We wish great success to our consigners and to our bidders.